Hello, I'm Dr. Terry Peters and I'm the director of the Image Guided Surgery Lab here at the Robarts. Image Guided Surgery is a, an approach that allows surgeons to perform interventions inside the body cavity without performing major surgery on the patient to actually get to the cavity. Many procedures that need to be performed are, are very simple, but most of the trauma that a patient um, encounters is due to the access to getting in, for getting into the target. So I'm going to show you a couple of examples of the sorts of uh, procedures that our lab has developed. The first one relates to um, the ability for an anaesthetist to place an anaesthetic agent accurately within parts of the spinal column. Typically, he might just use ultrasound. And in the bottom right-hand panel, you can see it, what a typical ultrasound image looks like. But that doesn't help him get the needle to the right place. But using ultrasound allows us to register a preoperative CT scan of the patient's spine to the patient. And when we do that, we can get a virtual representation of the needle in the three-dimensional image of the spinal column. Typically, these images would actually be shown in three dimensions to the observer. And if Jay can just rotate the image a little bit, we can see how the surgeon or well, the anaesthetist can accurately target the place in the spinal column in which to place the anaesthetic. All the surgeon sees is just the drape across the back of the patient. And so this display gives us the virtual um, look inside the patient while he's performing the procedure. If we now go over to the experiment over here, which is showing how we use virtual reality imaging to show the surgeon what's going on inside the chest cavity for, for heart surgery. Some of the procedures that we perform involve placing a, an instrument through a small incision between the ribs and through the base of the heart. This instrument, for example, is designed to capture a mitral valve leaflet, put a, put a suture through the mitral valve leaflet and pull that co new cord through the heart wall and secure it. This is to repair a valve that is malfunctioning because the, uh, the, the cords that secure the valve in place have broken. To do this minimally invasively by placing this instrument through um, a small incision between the ribs, we have to use preoperative imaging along with intraoperative ultrasound. So if we look at these images on the screen, we can see by virtue of this endoscopic camera what is actually going on, but this is not what the surgeon sees. What the surgeon sees is the preoperative model, which is showing up as red on the left, and he sees the ultrasound. By using the screen, the surgeon can place the instrument in the appropriate place by being guided by the um, ultrasound and the virtual model that you see on the left. So thanks for visiting us here at the imaging lab at Robarts and visiting my image-guided intervention lab. Thank you.